These works are, are in the Mocha Show. This one is finished, and this one here is part way done. What I do is I come up with a composition that I think will work, and then I mark it on the canvas. And this is done with paint. Uh, I kind of figure out the composition, and then I start. I mix the colors, and I put different colors in plastic bags and then I squeeze it out uh, of the plastic bag and in this one in particular I'm changing the colors so every time that I get to um, the end of a shape I actually squeeze the I change bags and then squeeze out another color and then I just keep um, flopping that way and what I do in order to get the perspective where they Kind of the lines go into um, a single point. I use a ruler and I straighten the line out that way and then often taking a little bit of paint at the top just to make the line go thick to thin. And um, these paintings are small scale um, and because of the process and also I like the, the intimate relationship um, that the viewer has with the work. The pattern was actually often, it's a pattern that people use to create another pattern. Say they use this pattern and then um, textile makers will um, add in details of the flowers and then take away the geometry shapes. So I found that really interesting. And the center is coming from different areas of the canvas for this one. I wanted it um, not quite in the middle. but close to the middle and then this one's coming from the bottom and I think what is interesting with the process that I do is just how it gets kind of muddy at the in the center of the the paintings uh, this one I'm more consciously doing it where the shapes are very clear so these are solid colors all the way around the edges and then the solid colors go into just this this um, kind of muddy red, whereas this one it was a little bit less clearly defined. Um, the it's it's uh, I was alternating a little bit more with the blacks and whites, and it wasn't so scripted out. Whereas this one, there is a little bit more definition. I always wanted to create work that was a painting but also like had a certain warmth to it and often I associated the warmth of textiles so I kind of wanted to to play with the abstract notion of of textiles the I just always for some reason like since I was young always really liked uh, textiles and also uh, very abstract work as well, like just putting down lines. Like I was always fascinated with, with Agnes Martin, uh, just this way of defining space, but in a very labor-intensive way. So I feel like the work is um, talking about texture and pattern. Um, color is really important to the work. So all these things going to create a really abstract. Um, the idea of paint being very um, viscose is really messy and I really like the idea of paint being anything, um, kind of like the Barba Papa, that just, it, it, it can be anything, it can, it can transform into anything, so um, I like the idea of transforming paint into something that it really uh, isn't by nature but could be. Um, so that use of, of paint is important and also there's something about trying to control a substance that is really messy as well um, into this like really uh, really controlled way of painting but the thing is that as, as much as I like to control it it's, it still does its own thing and it still doesn't look like material or as, as much as I want it to. Another interesting thing too about the work is that often the edges are very messy 
Um, and it kind of gives away the process a little bit on how I create the work.